Good morning, I'm Zoe Muldoon with a news update from Granada. Greater Manchester could be offered millions in extra funding to accept the toughest coronavirus restrictions. It follows talks over the weekend between Andy Burnham and the government, with more discussions expected later. Parts of Lancashire and the Liverpool city region are already under Tier 3 controls. Sisters from Stockport are campaigning for better disability training after being left in tears by theme park staff. Hannah Cheatham, who has cerebral palsy, was publicly removed from a ride at Alton Towers. The park has apologised. A former Commonwealth champion says she's never received an apology from the British Athletics Federation decades after being exonerated from using performance-enhancing drugs. Diane Modal from Manchester spoke to Granada as part of a series for Black History Month. I'd stolen those medals, is what I was being told. And for an athlete, when you know you are innocent and you haven't cheated, it absolutely just wipes you out. And a letter written by the Beatles manager following the sacking of the band's original drummer is to go under the hammer. Pete Best was replaced by Ringo Starr just months after the band was signed. Let's have a look at the forecast, here, Emma. Dentec Temporary Tooth Repair Kit sponsors the local weather on Good Morning Britain. Hello there, very good morning to you. Not too bad out there at the moment, generally dry. Any brighter spells, however, will start to turn a little hazier and then things will cloud over later this afternoon. You can see the rain arriving, pushing in across the Isle of Man. Really windy here as well, gusts of 30 miles an hour increasing to 40 miles an hour by the end of the day and windy everywhere. Bye-bye. Thanks, Emma. That's it from me for now. I'm back in an hour's time. For now, let's head back to Kate and Ranveer. See you soon.